tracking hurricane barrel. This is a monster storm. Got the new forecast for not only landfall, but the Texas coast this 4th of July weekend. First, the heat in San Antonio, triple digit heat around the county. We've got 101 at Lackland, 100 Randolph Air Force Base, Stinson's at 100, Calaveras as well as New Braunfels. But here in the city, 99. Out to the west for a 104 in Del Rio this afternoon. But when you factor in humidity, it feels like 100 out there west of San Antonio, 103 at Eagle Pass. It feels like 100 in the city and 103 at New Braunfels. So if you're heading out this evening, winds are picking up just a bit. Temperatures will stay in the 90s through the 9 o'clock hour. All right, let's get to the tropics and Hurricane Barrel. This monster's at 155 mile per hour sustained winds. So the gusts are going well into Category 5 status where she was last night with sustained winds at 160. So she weakens a little bit today as she starts heading towards Jamaica at 22 miles per hour. So let's take a look now at the computer model forecast because this is where it gets interesting. We're expecting a Yucatan Peninsula landfall about midnight Friday and then emerging back out over the open waters of the Gulf Saturday. So look at the handful. In fact, a little bit better than a handful of models that are taking it into the Texas coast into probably Monday. And so this landfall prediction, pretty interesting. Now, here's what the official forecast is saying. A Cat 3 across Jamaica, Cat 2 across the Cayman Islands, Cat 1 on the Yucatan Peninsula, but then a tropical storm making landfall south of South Padre Island. So going with this official forecast, here's what we're thinking for 4th of July weekend at Port Aransas, Rockport, Copano Bay and Corpus Christi, mostly sunny Thursday, Friday, beautiful weather. And then a good chance of rain Saturday, a much better chance of rain on Sunday. So again, a changing forecast as we're expecting at least three to four inches of rain from Corpus Christi south to South Padre. All right. 14 day forecast time. We start with the first seven and we're hovering around 100 through Friday the 5th. And then we'll enter some rain chances in the city at only about 20% over the weekend, but it gets a lot better Monday, Tuesday, 50 to 60% chances, even 30 to 40 through Thursday of next week. So now we're in mid July and heading into the weekend, still maybe a slight chance of rain as temperatures will hold right around the mid 90s. So we should be pretty seasonal, but the next few days are still going to be very, very hot. Hydrate up, Nate Ryan.